Tonight's homework is on rules of exponents, order of operations, and prime factorization. I'm going to go over problem number two. In problem number two, we're taking six, we're squaring it, we're taking times five to the zero power plus one um, half to the third power, or cubing one half. To do this, we're going to follow the order of operation. We're going to do um, parentheses and um, work those are exponents. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, since we don't have any operations really inside the parentheses, we're going to go right ahead now to the exponents. And we're going to do exponents going from left to right. So our first operation that we're going to do is we're going to take 6 and we're going to square. Well, 6 times 6 is uh, 36. So I'm just going to write down 36. It's going to be 36 times, and then I can go ahead and do 5 to the 0 power, because 5 to the 0 power, any, um, any base to the power of 0 is 1. And then I'm going to add 1 half to the third power. Now, I'm going to work this one out off to the side here. I'm going to do 1 half times one half, because that's what a power is, repeated multiplication, times one half. One times one times one, our numerator is going to be one, and two times two times two is eight. So it's going to be plus one eighth. Thirty-six times one is thirty-six, plus one eighth is thirty-six and one eighth. In problem number five, we are, uh, excuse me, we are dividing exponents. When we divide exponents with the like bases, we subtract their powers. So let's go ahead and look at number five. Okay, the nice thing about problem number five is that um, the bases, the like bases are on top of each other. So let's just go ahead and circle those alike bases. Now we have 2 to the third power over 2. Well, that um, 2 is really 2 to the first power. And I just write that up there so that I can see that um, whenever I take 3 minus 1, I'm going to get 2 to the second power. I'm going to take that times, and I'm going to do the same thing here, but with the base of 7. Okay. I'm going to take 5 minus 3, and I'm going to get um, 7 to the second power, okay, is equal to now. Now, I'm going to write in the calculator, so now I'm going to do, um, finish the problem up in my calculator. So, I can't do powers on my calculator, um, but what I can do is do repeated multiplication. So, I'm going to do 2 times 2, and then I'm going to take that answer times 7 times 7 equals. And my final answer then is 196. In problem number 6, I have um, in parentheses, 3 times 5 squared, and then outside parentheses, I'm raising that to the third power. Well, to do this, I'm going to work with inside the parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and do 2 to the fifth power, or excuse me, yeah, 5 to the second power, and I'm going to get 25. And I'm going to put that times 3 in parentheses, and I'm raising that to the third power. So I'm staying with inside parentheses, and I'm going to get 75 to the third power. Now, I brought in the calculator so that I can um, finish up my problem. Now, again, on my calculator, I can't do um, exp or exponents. So I'm going to write those with here multiplication. The calculator that you have might ha have, you might be able to raise it to the power. But I'm just going to take 70. 5 times 75 times 75 and equals and 
that is my answer. Fourth, uh, um, let me figure that out. 421,875. Okay, the last problem we're going to work out is problem number eight, the order of operations problem. So let's go ahead and get started on this problem. To do this problem, we're going to use the box that solved it, rewrite it method. So we're going to go with inside the parentheses, and we're going to do the exponent here first. I'm going to box that in. Okay, and 3 to the second power is not. So I'm going to rewrite it as 10 times 12 divided by parentheses 9 plus 6, close the parentheses, plus 35 equals. Okay, now I'm still inside my parentheses, I'm still doing 9 plus 6. So I'm going to um, bring that down, that's going to be 15. Then I have 10 times 12 divided by 15 plus 35 equals. Okay, I didn't box that in. Go back and do that. Show my work here. Okay, now the next step, I'm going to follow it again, follow the order of operations. I'm going to do my multiplication or division. Well, I start from left and go right. So I'm going to do 10 times 12 first. 10 times 12, I'm going to box that in. 10 times 12 is 120. So I have 120 divided by 15 plus 35, excuse me, 35 equals. Okay. And then I do my division. 120 divided by 15 is 8 plus 35. And I always say when you get down to one step, just solve 8, to 8, plus, excuse me, 8 plus 35 is 43. That is your solution.